second thing what would be second i was sitting on my leg and i can't move it now hello everybody and welcome back my name is yelena and i'm front-end developer now in this video i will tell you how i got into web development and which road i took and i'm gonna give you some tips and advices in which road you should take if you are a self-taught web developer like i am since i was a kid i wanted to be a lawyer actually first i wanted to be actor i mean actress when i was super young like from five years old till ten then i wanted to be a lawyer i was always watching those tv shows like ally mcbeal that was my favorite i watched it who knows how many times and that's why i was studying a lot in the high school and then i should go to law college you know logically but that changed in the last moment when there was a crucial point in my life i see it like that now it was fourth year of high school which means that next year i would go to college and i should get ready for the initial exams and in that period like few months before the end of the high school i met my boyfriend and he is the one who got me into web development when I met him, I was 19 years old. Before I met him, internet for me was literally just YouTube, movies, and Facebook. That was it. He is not a web developer, but he was working with web developers all the time, and he was making his ideas into reality. And I had such a hard time to be with him at the beginning, because he was always busy, I could never understand when he would tell me we're not going to see each other today because I'm really busy with work and I was thinking this guy must be crazy because how can you not go out with such a pretty girl <laughs> and have fun? You want to stay home and work? I thought there's something wrong with this guy. Oh my god, it sounds so weird uh, when I say that now. Um, but I really liked him and I wanted to stay with him so bad. I decided to start asking him more deeply what is what he does. You know, I wanted to see what is so interesting in his job that he doesn't want to see me. <laughs> and every time when I go to his place, I would sit next to him by his computer and I would watch what he was doing. I had no idea, of course, but I was asking and asking and asking all over again. I remember I asked the same questions many times and he was kind enough to explain me all in details. And time went by and I was seeing him being uh, many times um, disappointed with developers because they either left, either they don't do the job well, and somehow his ideas never got uh, into the full real realization. And I decided that I want to be his developer. I decided that I want to try to learn and to make anything he wants. Because I really believed in his ideas. Even this day, he really have good ideas that we are working on. Yeah, we are still together. We are together for six years now. And that is how my journey starts. I ordered my first book uh, to learn HTML and CSS and that was this book. HTML for the World Wide Web 4. So this was HTML4 and at the time I really didn't know if this was deprecated or not and luckily enough it was deprecated only for a few elements. Uh, so actually my dad bought this for me. I didn't want it to buy because it was expensive book. And I'm coming from a family who's not uh, on the rich side. So I didn't want it to spend um, around $20 on a book. But my dad bought me and he wrote, um, he wrote me a note on the book. And that's like a special book for me. 
I could cry when I think now, but I won't, uh, because that's when it all started and that's what changed my life. This would be the book. And now, in 10 days, I went through this book. I wasn't sleeping. Trust me, guys, I wasn't sleeping. I was learning, I was I was staying awake up until 3 a.m. Then I go to bed, but I can't sleep because I'm so excited and I can't wait to get up. And then I get up around 7 a.m. So I was for 10 days on such a low sleep, but full of life and excitement, trust me. And <clears throat> in those 10 days, my boyfriend was... Uh, with his friends on the sea. He went to Greece. And when he came back, I showed him my first website. And that was the most funny website that you ever saw. If I find it, I will put the link. And I placed in that website everything and anything. Like, literally, everything what was in this book I put it in that website and I showed him and he couldn't believe I remember that he shared that with his friends and he was so proud of me and he is still so proud of me he's my best support ever now after I learned those basics of HTML CSS like literally I was learning that for 10 days and then I went to bootstrap uh, I learned bootstrap on the way but I was learning per need of course I wasn't learning all from the top to the bottom, I was learning per need. Then he gave me tasks to work on his projects to do front-end development there. And that was so excited for me. I started working with another developers. And I remember my boyfriend, he would put me in projects with PHP, for example. I had, even till this day, I have no idea about PHP, but I always managed to put my front-end work inside of that to integrate. And I remember I was saying, well, I don't know how to do that. Don't put me there. But he was always saying, you will learn on the way. You will learn on the way. And then I started learning JavaScript. And then my boyfriend bought, bought me a book, this classic, JavaScript and jQuery by John Duckett. And that's this huge book for JavaScript and the most beautiful book ever. It has pages like this. And like this. And that was my first touch with JavaScript and jQuery. That was my road to learning. After that, I started learning different frameworks uh, for JavaScript, I mean libraries for animations. I was learning to integrate uh, front end into different uh, backend languages uh, like PHP and different platforms. I was working with, uh, I remember PHP uh, Vibe and PHP Fox. Oh my God, PHP Fox was the worst for me. So hard, so complicated, but I managed to make templates for that as well. Then I was making templates for Tumblr. That was fun for me because I had Tumblr. And here I am now with six years of experience in front-end web development and I started learning back-end development. I'm still with the same boyfriend uh, and we actually opened our company uh, that you can find in my description. And we are working together on all our ideas and we are like teammates in everything. Now, what I can tell you from my experience would be don't let anyone tell you that your marks from high school or college will determine whether you are capable or not to learn web development. Coding is hard, kind of, but it's not rocket science. And when something is interesting to you, you will learn it very easily. For example, I had such a bad mark in mathematics and I was always thinking, somehow bad about myself because of that uh, I would never be I, I never thought that I would be able to learn something complicated and coding seemed complicated to me at the beginning then I saw that you know everybody who have bad marks it's not necessarily 
due to their uh, capability of learning. It's mostly because they're not interested in the subject in school that they're learning. So never let anyone tell you that you're not capable to learn to code just because you had bad grades marks in the school. Second thing would be always be aware that you will have hard times learning from time to time throughout your whole life. Even now, when I have six years of experience, I don't know everything on top of my head and I get lost. So be always aware of that because if you think everything will go smooth, then at one, at one point you will maybe be tempted to give up because it's not what you expected. So be aware and prepared that not everything will be always easy. Third advice would be don't try to learn everything on top of your head. Just learn and whatever that you use most of the time, you will remember, you know, over the time. So don't bother to just sit and try to learn on top of your head. Just work and do some uh, examples, some conc concrete projects. And by doing all over and over, your brain will remember what is most important and what you use all the time. And don't get upset, nervous, uh, don't give up if you see that, you know, you're not just remembering easily. Some people remember easier than others, but that doesn't mean that you won't be good at coding at one point. Number four, don't stop exploring. You don't have to stick with one framework, one language, one library for the rest of your life. When you are a beginner, you just wanna try out different things uh, and feel free to jump from thing to thing because you can't know what you like the most, what works best for you until you try. I don't say that you do that for the you know rest of your life, but just at the beginning, when you don't know which road you should take, just try out, try out front end, try out back end, try this language, that language, so you can know what fits the best for you. Then when you know what you enjoy the most in, come back and just go that road and become pro at that one. Number five would be don't rush to find a job. Especially if you are young and if you still live with your parents or you have some other source of income, give yourself a time to learn. For example, I wasn't learning in the first three years on my web development journey. I was just learning, learning, learning. And then when I, after three years, when I started looking for a job, I found a job after only two days. Literally, I will tell you that in, in another video. Because people are always attracted by the money, especially if you or your parents have a, you know, low or average income, you can't wait to earn money and to work. Uh, but that can be trapped because you can be stuck at that one point uh, that you reached so far. And then you will go to work, nine to five, blah, 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 and you will be tired and there is a big chance that you will stop learning because, you know, I have the money, I have the job, I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life and that's it. People, a lot of the time, people stop learning from that point when they find the job. So if you are young, if you have space and find patience to just learn for a little bit more because you know you have a roof on top of your head you have food to eat you don't have kids you don't have bills to pay take your time and learn as much as you can before you start looking for a job number six and maybe that should be number two <laughs> because it's very important would be don't be shy to ask for help please don't be shy to ask for help that was my biggest issue. When I could stuck in a problem for three days or more, I wouldn't ask for help. Finally, now I got rid of that issue. So if I'm stuck and if I can't solve the problem by the end of the day, I always go ask wherever I can ask. I literally even find email, you know, from the guy who made the library, if I have issue with library and ask, you know, so 
don't be shy to ask because 90% uh, of the time you will get the answer and no one will think uh, oh my god look at this noob like no one will think that trust me everyone are happy to help and if someone is not you know he will just not answer you there's nothing scary about that no one will think bad of you no one will say anything bad to you just go and ask for help so that would be all for now if I forgot some tip and advice I will record that in another video now I want you to write me your tips for beginners in web development down in the comments write me your experience write me what would you advise to your younger self back then or what would you advise to any beginner in web development who is self-taught also share this video with friends because sharing is caring like subscribe whatever of course if you find me interesting enough and i'm gonna see you in the next one where i will tell you story how i got my first job after just two days of looking for a job and i will give you all the tips and advices how you can find your first job easily and quickly. Bye!